Okay, so we're back today, as promised, yesterday. Of course, I gotta do this. If I don't do this, it won't be right, right? Someone's gonna think something's wrong with me if I don't pose before I start. All right, so today, we're gonna go into the first, actually the second, um, installment of what I've been talking about all along, right? Yesterday's uh, first installment was about um, a fat person, right? I'm not gonna use nice language, I'll just say it as it is, right? I'm gonna say uh, uh, obese person, a fat person, right? We all know what that means. It's not negative in any way, trying to make fun of anyone. It's, it's just, you know, a heavy person, a fat person. Um, it's a certain type of exercise that they've got to do. Today's talk is about, and I think the one that's most common, right? Today's uh, uh, talk is about the most common, especially for guys, especially for younger guys, right? Um, what is it that they're always trying to do? Gain size, gain weight, gain muscle, right? Um, and, you know, so, so if that's what you want to learn, that's what you want to know, you've come to the right place because here I only talk about the most simple, straightforward, common sense way of working out, right? When I started, I started, I had to learn from scratch. Tried every routine, followed everyone else's routine, spent years and years and years with no gains. Because I was working out like everyone else was working out, but everyone, everyone's body is different. Everyone's body type was different. None of my friends back in high school or college was, was skinny like I was. They were all, you know, not heavy, but built, well built, had good weight on them. Um, but I didn't. But I kept doing their workout, you know, trying to actually lift the same weights they were lifting too, and it was just wrong. So I had to go through a lot of uh, learning. But I'll tell you, what actually worked. The first thing that actually worked. There was a book that I had found, and I can't remember where, years ago. Um, and it was talking about the system that Mike Mentzer uses, right? Um, and it was all about high intensity training. And I really didn't know what that meant. Um, but I knew, I knew who Mike Mentzer and his brother were, right? Um, and, so, and I liked their build. I liked their hardness. They were just so well, you know, put together, right? And they, steroids were around at their time, in their time. It's the same as, as Arnold. Just, I think they, they were just after Arnold. So steroids had made their full, uh, taken a full hold on the bodybuilding world by then. So they were well aware of it. So I, I understand that. Yes, they use stuff. That's why their bodies look like that. But the system made sense to me, the system they followed. And I'll tell you exactly what that system is. So you go into the gym. I'm going to take one exercise. And as I always I say, I, I always use the benching, right, as that exercise, right? It's just an example. You can do this with any exercise. So say you go into the gym. The first thing you do, so you're going to lay down on, 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 on the on on the bench, and you're gonna do your benching. Um, so you use a weight, right, right off the bat, um, that's gonna, that, that you're gonna warm up with. So maybe just the empty bar, right, just the empty bar. That's 45 pounds, right, it's an Olympic bar. 45 pounds, knock out 15 to 20 reps, right, just to warm up, get a full stretch, get a full stretch up, get a full stretch down, contraction at the top, all the way down, all the way at the top, right? Get about 20. So all that's going to do is warm up your muscle, right? So you don't pull anything. You don't want to pull any muscles. You always want to warm up and stretch. I use the warm up as my stretch, right? I don't like to warm up. I mean, I don't like to stretch. So I, I just do a warm up. So you use that first set. On the second set, right? You're going to do, and you're going to work out the same way everyone works out. You're going you're gonna to use enough weight to get yourself to about 12 to 14 reps. 12 is fine right? Easily, right? So say you add maybe, you know, 15 or 20 pounds on each side. You're going to get 12, 14 reps. It should give you a good warm up, but not, you know, you should not be stressing that. If you're stressing on that set, it's too hard. 
So if, if you can barely get to 12, you're, you're using too much of a weight. You want to get there easily knowing you maybe can get to 15 or 16, right? But get to 12, stop. On the next set, you go up in weight a little bit more, right? You go up, you add maybe, maybe 10, 15 pounds on each side. Depends on how strong you are, I don't know how. So you add some weight to each side and all you want to do is get to about 10 to 11, maybe 12. Anywhere between 10 to 12 reps. And it should be harder, right? But you want to get there. You want to struggle a little bit, but not struggle too much, right? So those are your first two sets. Those are basically your warm-up sets as well as the first set that you did. Now on the third set, you're gonna use enough weight, right? So on this third set, you're gonna know how much weight you can handle to get yourself to about six to eight, no more than eight, six to eight reps. Strict form, tight, strict form. Go all the way down, right? Get the stretch and then come all the way back up, right? And tense at the top, right? You don't lock out, but you tense your chest at the top, right? So your chest is taking all the pressure. Then you go back down. You do six to eight strict reps, strict form, perfect form. By the sixth, you should be almost there. If you get to seven, knock out the seven. If you're getting to eight, you probably can add another, another pound or two, another couple of pounds on the next time you work out for that set, right? What happens as soon as you're done with that six to eight reps, right? You should be now feeling that that's really stressing your, your muscle, right? And that thorough, that's the actual only working set that you need to be concerned with. The first two that you did and the warm up, not really important. You don't want to tax yourself out on those. You want to tax yourself. You want to push it as hard as you can on that last, on that third set that you just did. You must be stressed. And on that, as soon as that third set is done, take off 50% of the weight you have on each side, maybe even more, maybe 60% of the weight, right? And then get back on the bench and go all the way, as immediately, this is immediate, go all the way up to maybe 18 to 20 reps. Immediate, right? So what you've just done, right? And, and after, by the time you reach 20, you're probably not gonna reach 20. You're not going to reach 20. You're probably going to get to 14, 15. But go as high as you can, right? The objective is to get to 20, but it's hard because you've just taxed your muscle using heavy weight. You, so what you've done is this, right? And no one explained this to me, but I'll explain it to you, right? I had to learn this the hard way. You've just used both types of muscle fibers. And, I, and if you remember yesterday's talk, I talk about using the different types of muscles, right? You've got in your body. No one ever explained this to me. I'm explaining this to you. You've got fast twitch and you got slow twitch. The fast twitch is the powerful explosive type. That's the type that's most, that's quickest to grow, right? Because that's its nature. That's the one that will grow the most, but it only has short duration. So when you do that six to eight reps, that's the muscle you're taxing, right? But it's not very aerobic, right? So it doesn't get enough oxygen the way it should normally as it, as it is. If you just do it and stop right there, yes, you've used that muscle, but the way to complement that muscle is by going into that, that follow-up set of about, 18, about 14 to 15 to 20 reps or so, right, with a really light weight, that will then use all your type 2 slow twitch fiber muscles, which will now pump up blood into that same muscle that you just finished using. So what you did with that heavy set was you, you broke down the muscle, right? The objective is to break down the muscle. You broke it down using that heavy set. And what you got to do as soon as you're done breaking it down, you use the light set, right? The high rep light set to feed the muscle with blood right? You feed it with blood and that's where protein synthesis, always hard for me to say that one, synthesis occurs, right? That's where your body takes protein from your blood, right? That's floating around. That's where the creatine that I talked about earlier helps, right? Creatine pulls water into the muscles. So now you're pumping blood into the muscles. You're pumping blood. Creatine's taking all that, all that oxygen, all that liquid, pulling it into the muscles. And it's, it's, it's using the protein that it's collecting to rebuild that muscle, 
right? Because that's what protein does. Protein rebuilds muscle because uh, muscle is made of protein. So that in a nutshell, that in a nutshell, and I told you I will give you philosophy in this, in, in my talks, right? I don't just tell you what to do. I'll tell you why it works, right? So by doing your exercises that way, and you do that with every exercise you do, if you're doing squats, the only one set that you need to be concerned with is the working set. And the, the, the guy who, term, who, who coined that term, working set, is Dorian Yates. Maybe most of you guys know who he is. It was years after I found out that Dorian uses the same system that I had discovered from Mike Mentor and his brother, right? So he uses the same system and he used it, except of course those guys take a lot of stuff. So you're, you're, you know, realistically, you're not gonna end up looking like those guys, right? Maybe you'll end up looking like me, but you're not gonna end up looking like those guys. Um, because you know, natural has its limitations, but you can still build a good physique going natural. I guarantee it. You lift, you'll be fine. You'll be better. You're not gonna have the skinny, scrawny arms of a, of a guy who pushes pencils all day long. You don't want that. But neither are you gonna look like those muscle-bound freaks, right? They're not muscle-bound freaks. I used, to be, I used to adore bodybuilders when I was young, but I just don't anymore. I don't see that as being useful. It takes all your life, all your time and effort to try to look like that, and then you have to do drugs on top to get to look like that. It's not worth it, right? Your best bet, work out, live good, eat good, stay healthy, work hard, do the things you gotta do, and have a good build, right? That's what my channel is about. That's for people who want that lifestyle. I, I simply am not about the bodybuilding lifestyle. I'm about common sense approach to building a good, decent build, right? That's what I'm about. And that's what I'm a teacher. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about, right? In this, in, this, uh, in this channel, right? So that's what you do. Now, uh, and, and so, so now this is for, for guys wanting to build muscle, right? That system will build muscle on every body part that you do. But, 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 there, but there are a couple of things that you need to make sure you follow, right? A, don't let your workout go over an hour or an hour and a half. An hour and a half, you're pushing it. If you're skinny, I wouldn't even go over 45 minutes. When I stopped, and, and guys in the gym will, will, will attest to this, because I always tell them this, and then they follow it. Sooner or later, they realize I'm right. When I stopped working out for two hours at a time is when I started gaining muscle. Before then, I used to follow everyone else and do what they were doing. Do hundreds and hundreds of sets per body part and never gaining an ounce of muscle. All I had was sore shoulders and sore elbows and sore wrists and knees, bad back, but no muscle. And when I realized that you didn't have to do all of that, see, muscle builds from the high intensity short duration. That's a type one muscle. That's the one that mo mostly grows the type two muscle complements that, right? So you wanna work both. One alone, see you, or if you work just a slow twitch fiber muscle, you'll lose a lot of weight. And that's what I, I suggested to that guy yesterday. But you won't build a lot of muscle, but you'll be, you'll be tight, right? But you'll be, you'll be nice and firm, right? You'll be losing a lot of fat. And just if you do that alone, right? And that's why I suggested that routine to him. I've done that routine too, and believe me, it works, right? What? So, so, but if you want to gain muscle, you want to gain size, right? Density, you have to lift using the type one fast twitch muscle fiber. And that's where heavy weight, because that, that, that type of muscle is about power, right? Using a heavy weight, short reps, but high intensity. Remember, before you start that last set, pump yourself up, breathe, get stiff, get hard, right? Get up for that set. Let adrenaline start to rush. Don't just lay down. No, you got to get like if you're going to go into a fight, right? You see guys at the gym and you know this, you see this all the time. They pump themselves up. They get ready for that set because that's the only set that matters in, in that entire exercise that you're doing there, right? That last set. Make it heavy for yourself. Don't make it easy, right? You need to push your muscles past the boundaries they already know. They got to break. You got to break them to rebuild them. If they don't break, they're not going to rebuild. And that's what, that's what a scar is, right? You're, you're breaking that skin. That's why you got these, 
these these hard calluses on my, on your hands if you can see them right that's from lifting weights that's that's because i wear no gloves i don't believe in gloves i don't believe in straps i don't believe in wraps natural if i can't grip something with my own hands regardless of if it's 300 pounds i will grip it with my hands because i believe in natural strength if i got to use straps to hold something up how does that relate to real life i'm talking about real life I want whatever I do to, to relate to real life. So, um, same thing, right? So, you lift heavy, you pump yourself up, you get that adrenaline flow, and you knock that set out. That third set, that that's at the working set. It's the only one that matters. You knock it out, right? And as soon as you're done, don't give yourself any rest. Get right into changing that weight out. Drop off, even if you have to drop everything off the bar and get to just the bar, right and if you just have the bars really light get to 30 reps right if it's too light but just wrap it the fuck out all the way until the point where that muscle is screaming and you're screaming but you got to go past the pain threshold right that's what arnold talks about all the time if you can't handle the pain threshold your days are, are numbered in in terms of lifting weights right you got to go past that and i have learned how to deal with the pain like everyone else I guess who lifts weights right so so the first part right the heavy breaks down the muscle the second part um, and, and the first part right here's here's the secondary effects of what you just did the heavy lifting the, the low rep high weight third set that you just did produces a ton of testosterone right because that's a heavy the heavier weight you lift the more testosterone you provide you produce right and the more you tax that muscle the more testosterone you produce that then gets into the muscles along with um the uh uh, uh other uh whatchamacallit that you just took this took to uh you know to to uh get into that muscle and and uh create protein synthesis so that's what the testosterone does right so the testosterone that you produce by that heavy set helps with muscle growth and then you followed that up with a light set high rep now what does that do you go until you get the burn with the high rep high rep set you go until you feel the burn 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 right that's the key word at the end of that set you got to feel the burn what that means is there's an act lactic acid buildup in that muscle in other words it's it's producing so much lactic acid you cannot drain it's, the muscle has the the is not able to drain it out quickly and that's what creates the pump it's lactic acid buildup in that muscle right so you got to build it up and what that does is it produces a ton of growth hormone IGF1 right so the, you, so you got testosterone from the heavy set and you got IGF1 these are both pathways to muscle building right both of them build muscle in different ways right so you so you're attacked by doing the set that way you're, you're hitting it you know it, 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 with a two-headed hand you know you're going at it was what's the term you you know uh you're hitting it both ways right so you're hitting it with uh, uh, uh heavy producing testosterone you're hitting it with light producing lactic acid which produces growth hormone igf1 so you got growth right there right it's fundamental it's not hard to do so just follow that with every exercise you do and 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 secondly if you're if you're a skinny uh, person or, or you know a low low weight person and you're trying to gain weight don't go over an hour in the gym you're wasting your time anything after 45 minutes to an hour um, your body has no more capacity to your muscles have no more capacity to work so anything you're doing after an hour or so and i would say if, if you're going into an hour and a half let that second half hour be that uh, the half hour after the hour point be some kind of cardio like like i do right my lifting only takes about an hour a day or whenever i work out and the, the other half uh, I, I do some type of walk like a slow walk and i burn off whatever excess energy is there, there is in my blood um and you give your body a chance to you know to normalize again right so um keep it to about an hour like i said if you're trying to gain weight gain muscle uh, lift intense followed by high rep 
right? And do that with every, every exercise you do. Um, I'll be posting different exercises, different, different videos, and I think I started yesterday showing, you know, uh, 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 push chest push downs on, on a machine which I do in, instead of benching because um, I can't do much benching anymore um, what else uh, so so you know follow that um, don't go over an hour like I said I said that already um, and I think that's it for, I think that's it for now um, tomorrow's will be um, tomorrow I'm going to talk about uh, lifting for older guys right? It's slightly different than this, right? Because older guys, regardless of, of light or heavy, I think all want to go one way. And that is you want to cut the weight down. If you're heavy, you want to cut it down. If you're light, you're fine. That's the way to be. You don't want to be heavy as you get older, right? You want to cut the weight down. I'm, I'm a little, in my mind, too heavy, but I'm not fat. But still, it's too heavy. Your, your heart or it has to work hard to support all the muscle that you have. So as, as you get older, you want, to, you want to bring that weight down. But that's tomorrow's talk. Um, please, everyone, whoever sees this, go to my YouTube uh, channel um, and give me a, uh, you know, subscribe, a thumbs up, and uh, um, let me know how I'm doing, right? Any, any feedback is welcome. Uh, that's it. Bro science, baby, all the way.